Hello, welcome back to another video. Today's video is basically comparing Intel to AMD. And yes, I've done a video of this a while ago, but AMD and Intel have changed quite a bit since then. So this is kind of an update. And before we get started, please subscribe because only about 2% of you that watch my videos are subscribed. So let's just, we'll just subscribe. And like I said, I'll do giveaways for each milestone we hit. But otherwise, yeah, let's get started. So let's start with Intel first. So, you probably know Intel. Obviously, it's like the OG um, CPU that you could get everywhere. I mean, back then when you wanted to build a PC, Intel was the only option you could go for. Now, Intel is basically the best at the moment. Or, I wouldn't say the best, but they are a pretty good company to go for with your CPU, laptops, if you want to. But let me get to the point I'm trying to say. So let's talk about pros and cons. Pros with Intel. Pros are that um, it has good performance. I mean, almost every gaming tournament was sponsored by Intel. It's good for renderings. It's good for, let's say, um, game development. I was gonna say game development because I do game development. Um, and it's pretty well, than the way it is. Um, but cons, yeah, there's a lot of cons. One, extremely expensive. You don't want to try to do a budget PC and then see that Intel costs you like something hundred dollars. So, yeah. Um, the other con is that they tend to make the CPU, uh, CPUs be different to what the motherboards are. So you have to always search for a specific motherboard for this Intel CPU. But that's it basically with Intel. Um, I don't think they really had a graphics card like AMD, but we'll go straight to AMD soon. Um, but I think they did have a graphics card a while ago, but they didn't really do very well. So yeah. So now let's go to AMD. So now let's talk about AMD. AMD, I'm obviously a fan of. I have an AMD laptop. It's a Ryzen 7 with a Vega or Radeon Vega 10. So it's a pretty well built PC. A uh, laptop, I mean. Um, but let's just clear things out. So if I was wanting to get a new laptop, I chose this because, or this laptop you can see behind me, like right here. I chose it because one, it's cheap, and two, I have I had no idea it was going to be that powerful for something that's cheap. So if I had to go for Intel laptop for the same price, it wouldn't have the same performance. So let's talk about pros and cons with AMD with their CPUs. So AMD pros very powerful very cheap and um, they have their own graphics cards which are pretty well made and i think there was a bit of controversy about the 6000 series but uh, um and it was just really easy to find the cons is they're still busy working on the cpus so it's not the best i mean i think the highest Hertz you could get with 4 gigahertz with a AMD CPU was about 4.9, where with Intel it's about 5 points something, or more than 5. But yeah, let's carry on. Um, the other cons is sometimes it is a bit expensive to where you are. So if you live in an area that sells it for more, it's not to Andy's fault, but you know. Business is business. And yeah, that's basically what I was saying. Honestly, more pros is that it's really well done. I mean, I can do game development, I can do renders if I want to. So it is really, really powerful. But otherwise, yeah, that's basically it about the AMDs. Honestly, your new consoles or next gen consoles do use AMD. Even the Mac Pro, it has an AMD product in it. So that's kind of a good 
good sign for AMD because that being featured in the next gen console like PS5. And I'm not sure about Xbox, but I think it might be with the graphics. And then obviously, um, Apple uses them for the Mac Pro. But uh, yeah, um, if I had to compare the AMD gra uh, graphics card, like the 6000 series, that would be a totally different video because they'll mean have to compare it to the NVIDIA RTX 3000 series. Obviously there is a bit of a price difference, but yeah, if you want me to do that, then like this video. If you get five likes in this video, then I'll do the video for next week, Tuesday. Or maybe this Friday, depending. Um, but otherwise, yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Comment down below what you want to see next. I hope you're all having a great day, and yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.